What's up guys? Iceman here. So welcome back to Project Diablo 2. Now I haven't played this for some time until just a little while ago. Started messing around with the Necromancer because I wanted to make a video on this. The mercenary wielding beast berserker axe. And the ladder is going to reset for Project Diablo 2 or however you want to say it. The season 4 is going to begin. So it's a clean slate for everyone and there are some changes. New rune words, new items, things like that. So I'm looking forward to it. In fact, I'll probably make a necromancer. The necromancer in season four can actually have skeletal archers that he can summon. An entirely new skill. But check this out. Here's my gear. Arm of Kingly Auric, which has this nice new bonus uh, where you can summon two additional skeleton mages. Grave Palm just for the summoning skills. Some dual uh, res and a little bit of MF. Need to up this belt, just haven't gotten around to it yet. Ravenfrost, ooh, that's unfortunate. Really don't need those two, they both have cannot be frozen. I need to switch that out. As mentioned, I haven't been on here for a little while. So I don't know what the hell he's doing with those boots on. But okay, there's this gear, I actually found this uh, in the chaos. Not all that great, but Whatever, might have some use. It'd be fun to find early on. So here's the mercenary wielding beast berserker axe, as you can see. So uh, it gives fanaticism. Now, I don't know how helpful it actually is. In my experience, I had uh, fanaticism on my act one mercenary because she was wielding faith bow. But of course, then she doesn't have might, like how this guy has might. Unless you put uh, Templar's Might on her, but it's still a low-level Might. So here's his gear. Alright, so I'm going to teleport over to the Cast Sanctuary. And I'm going to showcase a little bit with Beast on, okay? And a little bit without. So, while watching this video, try to pay attention to the skeletons and their attack speed. All right? let me know, are they attacking faster? Like, see, here's their cycle, too. Three, four. I mean, I just, I don't really know if. Three. Shit, I think they are attacking faster. Oh, shit. I think they are. See, it could be a hard thing to gauge. Uh, I mean, in fact, it might be a better comparison to have them attack something that has a lot of HP. So we can just see them hitting it a lot. But here we go. I'll put Beast back on him. Yeah, if we have like a boss, uh, it might be easier to tell. But yeah, this mod... I mean, this is a good time, man. There's just the end game content that we don't get in D2R. And this is classic, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is classic art style. Uh, they didn't turn all the characters into dudes. You know, charts included as they did in uh, D2R. You know, this is just Diablo 2 as it was intended to be. Alright. Um, enemies aren't all hunched over and shit. You know, yeah, there are, I mean, there are some. It has a nice uh, frame rate, basically, D2R. That's kind of nice. But, you know, they say that this Diablo 2 just has good art. They say, uh, there's a charm and shit to the art. Okay. It's, it's kind of uplifting, uh, even in the most dire of situations. Kind of fantasy world and all that, you know. That's right, you don't even have to uh, identify items in that way. You can actually just hold the left click, or hold shift and then left click the item and it identifies. And uh, check this out, look at all the, you can have 80 in total for each of these. Yeah, and there's actually uh, ones that you can attain in Season 4, I think from killing a certain boss. I think it's from Rathma, a new boss that's added for Season 4. And it's like a tome of unlimited portals and unlimited ID scrolls. Well, that'd be nice. Okay, doing a little bit of damage here. I mean, this is... And what else could you have here for auras? Let's see. 
I mean, it's important to have Leoric on your main hand is the thing if you want to have the additional mages. And warriors. You may summon two additional warriors and two additional mages, yep. With King of uh, Leoric. So if I were to switch off from this, you'd lose uh, four summons, basically, is what happens. So you don't want to do that. So yeah, having Beast in your main hand, uh, just you're going to miss out on those summons, you know. So that's why I think it's probably important to have Beast. Hell yeah. On uh, the Mercenary. Um, and as mentioned, you have Templar's Might on a Rogue Mark with uh, Faith Bow. You just get such a high Might Aura with this guy. Is it like level 18 or something of that sort? Oh shit. Not bad. There's his damage. Yeah, so so quite toad. Uh, let's let's see how they handled the Diablo. Yeah, but let me know in the comments. What are you guys planning on doing for season four of Project Diablo 2? Hell yeah. Alright, let's see how Let's see how fast they can attack him, and I'll actually come back and I'll do this again. I'll take fanaticism off of him, okay? Oh shit, we can't really see him. But time the damage, alright? And there's no amp damage on him, so I won't amp damage him. Alright, there he goes. So stay tuned, I'm gonna uh, get to him again, and we'll try this again. So, here he is again. And I just took Beast off of my Mercenary. But I mean, let me know what you guys think. Are these Warriors and Mages actually attacking slower now? It's obviously Fanaticism uh, is supposed to help with the attack speed. And I don't know if these Skeletons have like, the frames that... Uh, similarly to how a character would or a Mercenary would. I, mean, I think they do. I just cheesed those enemies. Don't, don't forget to cheese the enemies when in the Chaos Sanctuary. Maybe I'll explain more thoroughly on what the hell that is in a future video, but check this out. So no amp damage. Which is faster? I mean, obviously, it, sh it's, it should certainly be faster with... Uh, Beast, but then again, uh, maybe what was chopping his health away was the fact that Beast has Crushing Blow on it. 20% <laughs> chance Crushing Blow. Hell yeah. Yeah, but basically this Necromancer, I mean, in my book, he's kind of made it, alright? I mean, he's quite complete. Well, according to some, I guess he's far from complete. Uh, he's far from complete, is, is the truth. Uh, for, to my standards, though, he can waste shit, you know, pretty well. Oh, yeah, another thing to keep in mind is for Season 4 there's going to be auto gold pickup, just like in uh, D2R. But it's not going to auto pick up like gold that you drop or other players drop. <laughs> but yeah, I guess... I mean, look at this. Like, this could use a slam. You can have an additional skeletal warrior role. I mean, it's it's near perfect. Well, actually, it's far from perfect. There's only one to summoning skills. Yeah, it's, this is a shitty arm of the orc, really. Obviously, I could find a better one and slam it. Uh, could probably get better gloves overall. I mean, I could have pre buff summon gear for one. I just don't like to swap things out like that. I could slam MF on these or something. SOJ, you need to have an SOG, you need to have a BK ring. Uh, there's all sorts of things that... You know, I could get better of. I could get a one wall skill slam on this helm. <clears throat> Things like that. I don't know about this thing. I mean, the, yeah, it, it it gives you a nice vigor, obviously, which is which is really nice to have on it. But yeah, it's, it's kind of lame the fact that it only has one in necro skills. Yeah, I think I just will like the video. Hit the thumbs up button, become a patron if you want. I uh, received a few new patrons as of recently, and shit. 
uh, yeah, it's it's been quite nice. So thank you. And Kevin Drum even upped his patronage from five shekels a month to twenty. Very pleased to see that. So thank you guys for your support. Thank you, Kevin, for upping your patronage. But I'm going to be making videos for season four when Project Diablo 2 comes out. And let me know what player what kind of character you guys are gonna play as, what build. And you know, I'm going to uh, try to strive more toward you know, some of the end game content. The maps, maybe even the dungeon, shit. I don't know, I'm scared, I'm kind of scared to try Rathma. I mean, I think it's one of those things you only get one shot. Now I'm kind of scared, I don't know how well a summoner's going to be able to do it. But I'm willing to find out. So yeah, give me a hell yeah if you want to see me run that in the comments below. And damn, look at that toad damage. Cube socket that thing. It's only uh, an exceptional one though, but style points, it's a third wheel. Yeah, I'll talk to you all soon. Peace be with you.